Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a very special video because we are going to discuss just how frames can win games. Now, this is part of an NVIDIA promo, but we are working with Azus here because we're going to take a look at their insane PG259QNR monitor, which is 360 hertz. It's also an IPS display, insane. And we're going to take a look at the ROG Strix 3080. And we're also going to take a look at the Chakram Core mouse because I'm going to show you guys how you can actually analyze your input lag and all kinds of stuff with this. It is insane. And of course, this is only possible with this monitor, with this GPU and with this mouse combo. There are other GPUs and other monitors that may work with this, but this is some ultra high end stuff. So this is the graphics card we're going to take a look at as well. This is installed in my system. It is the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 3080, an insane graphics card. And then this is the mouse we're going to take a look at. This is the ROG Chakram Core. Now, the reason why we're looking at this mouse and the monitor and the GPU, all of them come from Zeus, is because they all work together and will allow us to actually analyze our input lag with all kinds of funky stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys that now because it is insane. Okay, let's take a look at this NVIDIA Reflex technology in action because it's mental, like it really is. If you're looking for that ultra high-end competitive sort of advantage, this is exactly what you need because what you can do is monitor the delay it takes from you to literally fire your weapon. So then you can tailor your graphic settings to reduce it. And it's just crazy. All right, let's take a look at this. So first thing you do is you turn on the reflex latency analyzer on the monitor itself. Then you've got a bunch of options. And what you can do is go down to monitoring rectangle location. And what you do here is you have to put this over the muzzle flash of the weapon. Now, of course, this will be different for every single weapon you use. We're going to take a look at Valorant in this example here. We will talk about some other games in a second, but basically I just want to show you Valorant because it is super, super, like the game's mental. Like it's so, it's so fast and crisp. Anyway, what you do with this is you basically put the box over the muzzle flash of the weapon. Now, of course, this will be different for every different weapon model. You can increase the size of it and change it just to make sure you've got it because what's happening here is the monitor is monitoring changes in the pixels now it's basically doing what a high frame rate camera yeah. will do those cost tens of thousands of dollars but this monitor can actually just do it itself it's crazy so it's basically going to time when the pixel changes color which is obviously when it registers the firing shot which is crazy all right so what you do is you bring up the geforce experience and you go to performance now the next thing you do is you basically turn on the performance overlay you want to look at now there's a bunch of options here you've got off obviously turns it off you've got fps which just puts the FPS in the bottom corner. And you've got basic, which again gives you a bit, a bit more stats, more than FPS. You've got advanced, and then you've got latency. And what we're going to do in this video is focus on latency, because what I want to show you is basically the time it takes for me to press the mouse to it firing on the screen. And it is crazy, right? It's like how, like the fact you can even monitor that is just like mental. All right then, so this is the overlay we've got. What we're looking at here is mouse latency. 0.1 milliseconds. That basically means that when I pulled the trigger, it took 0.1 milliseconds for me to send the command to the game to fire. Now, if you look in the top of the screen, you'll see they've got 10 milliseconds, 12 milliseconds. If we jump down again, PC plus display latency, 11 milliseconds, 16 milliseconds. That's crazy. Again, look at the top of the screen, 8 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 11 milliseconds. That's crazy. Like, I think you're going to be very hard pressed to find anything better than 8 milliseconds. Maybe you can get 7 milliseconds um on valorant now valorant is super optimized for this it's meant to be high-end esports it's ridiculous right apex legends you right. still get good results on apex legends as well if you try that um, but i just wanted to focus on valorant here because i think it, it sort of makes a bit more sense if you're after that little bit of extra response time because remember here guys right we're talking about milliseconds this isn't going to make you a god gamer but if you're a really good gamer and you're looking for that little bit extra that little millisecond, that extra millisecond. It's not even a millisecond. It's like 0.1 millisecond. Like that, that timing difference might be, well, the difference between you actually landing the shot or you getting killed. But I've got to stress, this is for the absolute highest end of gaming, right? So let me show you how this makes a difference, right? So this GPU, the 3080, is insane. It's pumping massive FPS. Look at that, right? 400 plus FPS. It's crazed, right? Obviously, the monitor as well is 360 hertz, so we're, we're, we're able to utilize this. But what I want you guys to focus on here is the PC plus display latency. Look at the numbers that are coming in. 10 milliseconds there came in. That's really good numbers, like super good. 12 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds again. This is insanely good results. 8 milliseconds, that is super fast, right? Now, the question is, what happens if I cap my FPS 
to 60. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this will show you guys the difference between playing at massively high frame rates and playing at lower frame rates. Watch this. Watch the top left as I fire 30 milliseconds straight away. Look, the delay is huge there. 40 milliseconds. That's massive. Like, we were getting 8 milliseconds at high frame rate. When we lock it to 60 FPS, it's terrible. It's like 34 milliseconds. And that is a... That's a, that's a massive difference. And that should hopefully show you guys the benefit to playing at high frame rates. Obviously, pairing this GPU with this monitor, you're going to get insane results. So it's definitely worth it. It'll give you that competitive advantage. It's also available on the 9, 10, and 20 series NVIDIA GPUs, as well as the 30 series that we're obviously testing this on now. And like I said at the top of this video, this is the entire ROG system. We've got the mouse, which can track the input... Uh, latency through the monitor because the mouse is plugged into the monitor. It's got a special port for this. Uh, and then we've got the GPU. It's the whole ecosystem, which is the cool thing about this. So the question is, right, how does this actually affect your gameplay? What is it like in a real world scenario to play on this monitor? Now, I have come from a 240 hertz monitor, which is, for all arguments, an insanely fast monitor. It means that if you are displaying 240 hertz, frames per second, the monitor will show them. This makes the gameplay smoother. It means you can actually, in some instances, see the enemy as they go around the corner before they will see you. But it's really, 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 really minute. You know, we're talking milliseconds of advantage. But if you're playing at the highest level, all this advantage helps, right? Having the right gear gives you an advantage. So it's just, you know, it goes without saying, get the right tools for the job. But what I'm going to say is, if you are playing on a 60 hertz display, Going to 144 hertz display is a massive improvement if your PC can actually play the game you're playing over 144 frames per second. That's going to be incredible. I, however, have been playing on 240. The difference from 144 to 240, I think, is it's there, but it's not as massive as the 60 to 144. However, now I've gone to another level. Now I'm at 360. Now this is crazed, right? The difference between 240 and 360... It's very negligible, right? I am finding it hard at times to notice it. I reckon you maybe notice it, I don't know, 10% of the time. You do notice it in Windows when you're moving Windows around your PC. They look super smooth. Uh, in game, you notice it as well. If your game is playing at the frame rate of the refresh rate of the monitor. Now, you'll notice if you look very closely, I'm not playing Valorant here at over 360 frames per second. So I'm not actually getting the sort of um, benefit from the monitor. Sometimes it'll go over that. Sometimes it won't. So it's still kind of fluctuating a bit. But it does mean that this is future-proofing that level of performance. So if I get a new GPU in the future, an even faster GPU, which sounds crazy to me to even say that, then yeah, you might start getting mental frames per second. Now, it's got to also be said, Reflex technology is only available in certain games. But obviously, you can use this monitor, GPU, and mouse in any game. So if you were playing Overwatch, you know we like a lot of Overwatch on this channel. Um, you can play Overwatch easily at 400 frames per second with this graphics card, which is just mental. So this monitor running at 360 means what I would do in Overwatch is lock my frame rate to 360, play the game, and I'm getting 360 frames per second on a 360 hertz display. It is super smooth. It is incredibly smooth. There is no faster display. It is literally the world's fastest game in display. So there's no excuse, right? If I die, it's my own fault. <laughs> or I can blame my internet lag. That is just incredible, right? So you were there and you've, you, you've got the equipment ready to like get out there and dominate. Of course, you've still got to be good at the games. Now, I've got to say, when it comes to working out if this monitor is for you, if you are looking for that high-end competitive experience at 1080p, because that's what everyone pretty much plays games like Valorant, Overwatch, Apex Legends at, um, this monitor is incredible for that. But if you're playing more cinematic games, you're probably better off going for a 4K display. Like maybe if you're playing the latest RPG, you might want a 4K display. You probably don't want to play that at 1080p. But for competitive games, this monitor, it's the fastest you can buy right now. The display quality is pretty decent as well, but it's all about the refresh rate. That 360 hertz is just crazy. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been my pleasure to produce this. And yeah, there are a bunch of links in the video description below. I'd appreciate if you go down, click them and check it out. I do recommend this monitor if you're playing competitive FPS games. The GPU as well is insane. The mouse is great as well. And they all work together for this wonderful NVIDIA Reflex experience. So yeah, thank you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.